It's the tallest player in Syracuse history, Naheem McLeod, and seven foot Harlan Obioha. Purple Eagles win the tip. We're ready to go. Uh, and this Syracuse team is, is another one that loves to play up tempo and they excel at it. Vince down low, the spin, the shot, and the score. Syracuse on the board for two. You know what? He's up there with some of the best of them, and I played with one of the best guards of all time at Syracuse and Johnny Flynn, and he has that Johnny Flynn type flair. There he is down low, covered by Luke Bumbleo. Bell up top. Mid-range J is Cash. Starling, a J. Yes. J.J. Starling, his first points of the day. You said you knew early on that he was going to have the career he does. I did. You know, while he, while I was out uh, messing around, you know what, Jack? This guy is coming out competing at a high level. The squad's hanging tight with Syracuse right now. 6-5 after the Luke Bumble 3 Here's Judah Mintz going up for mid-range. Gets the end one on the jumper. Get the three-point line, but... You know, he's a heck of a player getting downhill. He's a heck of a player in that mid-range. And boy, I tell you what, he is tough to stay in front of. Braxton Bayless pushes off. Bumble from downtown. Yes! You know what, and, and, and that's a tough shot right there. A, a really good defensive player out on the perimeter and also in transition. Niagara back in transition. They add two more. That's Trey Bullock on the board for the first time today. Purple Eagles with the lead. There's Bayless down the lane. Cut by McLeod. And there's that presence that we talked about earlier in the game. Vince two-handed slam. Syracuse back in transition where they belong. Exactly how SU wants to do it. Yeah, and, and, and on that last possession, speaking of McLeod, absolutely. And, and you need that, especially with a young team. You got to keep that energy high. That's a big thing, a big attribute to have is, is big energy and effort. Come on! Bumble on another ah. three. Great points per game really become a threat for this Niagara team. He had 16 points last. And create plays for themselves and get the ball to open shooters. Here's Copeland, kicks out to Williams for three. Yes! Benny Williams puts up a tray. You can't keep him leaving him open. He's gonna knock down some of those shots. He, you gotta find him on the perimeter. Copeland, spin, oh, in the filet. How about it? Quadir, he's bringing it, man. He, he's exciting to watch. The spin move and then to slow down and get the finesse off the glass, that's impressive. Henderson, the point guard, controlling from up top. Pushes off to Bayless. Out down low, Obiola finishing through traffic. And Zagger, Cornell, he's come to play today. There's Henderson, kicks out to Tucker. From deep, no good. Brown fights for the rebound, Williams has it. Up to Cuff. Down the lane, nice little Euro off the glass and in. Both of them are in it today. Both went down the lane, a step through and a score. You know what, Niagara runs a lot of good stuff, a lot of good movements, getting guys where they can get opportunities to get to the bucket. Great take. Copeland through contact, an angry finish. So 6 7 can bring the ball up, super crafty, a guy who can put guys in their spots. I mean, he's having a heck of a, a, you know, last, what, three, four games. Oh, tough with a nice step and a shot off the glass. And now Syracuse, the depth that they have, we talked about against Oregon, you know, having 44 bench points, and now we're talking about Copeland and Cuff, you know, just picking up where they left off. Did you when, when they were playing six, seven guys? I tell you what, no, I, I would be mad if I did. <laughs> I, I, I need to be in that game, coach. <laughs> he certainly kept you in. It's been a solid defensive unit. Allowing about 70 points a game. There's Copeland. Another two for Hugh. Off the mark. Great contest by Copeland. Cuff pushing the other way. The spin and the lay. Oh, no good Brown in the putback. There goes Bayless. Covered closely by Brown. Bumbleo from deep. Oh, no way. Luke Bumbleo. You know, that's one thing that Coach Paul has said pregame. You know, if we can limit transition opportunities, that's to make him play in the half court. Brown gets the rebound. His fifth of the day. The communication isn't there with Bumbleo. I mean, he, he, yeah, the guy is just, he's hit, you know, what, four threes. He, you got to communicate it. Cross court pass. Niagara, quick ball movement. Bullock to Obang Menza. He cashes the J. Here's Bumbleo. No shortage of points from him today. He's got 14 from way downtown. He buries it. Luke Bumbleo keeping Niagara in this one. Oh, Niagara is playing right now. He's got range, and Adrian Autry isn't happy about it. He calls timeout. 
They want to talk this one over because only nine fast break points for Syracuse, but mostly half court offense. There goes Mitz, the hop through. The way is nothing but net. <laughs> oh, he, he's just, that's how he's playing right now. He, he's playing with a, you know, super confidence and he's looking to score that basketball. Mintz, no good from deep. There goes Henderson. He gives it up. Oh! Mintz, a one-handed slam and an and one to go with it. Finish and now he gets dunked on with and one. It's a nice pass from Ahmad Henderson too. Go out there and be aggressive. You know, if they don't go in, you got another opportunity coming back. Oh, bang, Menza working down low. He hits the J. Covered by the smaller Taylor. Obioha, Cooper's off the mark. Rebound, no bang, Menza. Tries to go up for it, can't get the shot off. You see Niagara's trying to take advantage of Taylor being that smaller defender. He's worked out a couple times. Always with that left hand. And there's what we're talking about, him being that capable defender. Step through, kick out. Right back to him. Over to Bell from deep. Oh, you bet. 45-33, the Q's on top. In the corner, Tucker from deep. That one's off the mark. Push. Out in transition. Bell snags the pass, puts it up off the glass. And he gets two more. Step backs off the mark. The crowd tried to put it back, but couldn't. I'll tell you what, though, the separation right there was the lead. Taylor hits the jumper to extend the lead. Like I mentioned about Paulus, when he came back to Syracuse, played quarterback in 09 and Doug Marone's first season as head coach, 68% of his pass is the highest in a single season for a quarterback at SU. I, I tell you what, I, I, I think as you see JT knocked down another three. We talk about his confidence. He, I know you're hearing me out there. Bumble on with the board. Over to Marble, the spin, the shot off the glass, and he finishes. Yeah, that's a tough move, but, you know. Niagara finally getting a shot to fall. Down by 14. We're in the second half. Taylor from deep. Oh, he nails it. Let it go, young man. And, and Copeland in the corner from deep. That one's short. Brown on the rebound to Starling. Whoa. Off the glass and in. Malik Brown, seven points, eight rebounds, and an assist today. Braxton Bayless finishes through contact with the and one. Bayless wants a screen, won't use it. Down the lane, the fake, the spin and the score. Nice now, move. And I tell you what, young guards watching this guy play. They only return him and Harlan Obioha from last year's squad. Goes up for the layup, it's off the mark. Played two games at Kansas last year, but tore his MCL and PCL in practice early on in the season. Had to sit out the rest of the way. Well, since we said he about it, talked about his athleticism, he comes out and gets two blocks. They're hearing us out here, Jack. Yeah. There he is from deep. Oh, Colin Puff nails it. Indiana is known for some big time basketball. Their high school basketball games could get 20 dollars Brown soars and slams. Great roll to the rim, Malik. Big time. Nine points for Mr. Malik Brown off the pass from Kyle Cuff. Look at this slam, 63-47. Sarah, good to let the legs rest. No, I think it's good to let the legs rest. You know, Whoa, okay. Copeland to Benny Williams. Now, is that the Benny Williams that we're trying to see? Gets it right back, ball tipped away. Malik Brown defending, can't finish that one. He gets it the second time around. Now going back to Benny Williams. Not fully pulling away because this Niagara team's playing tough. They're going to compete, but you know what? You got to give Syracuse credit. They've done a good job of taking the taking care of the ball so far as it's going. I always think of James Sutherland in that category, too. And he can shoot that thing. Yep. He had one game yet. I think he had 10 threes against Arkansas. Bayless with the contact puts it off the glass. There's Mintz up top. Crossover. Couldn't kick it out. There goes Rudy Searock. He loses it, Williams is right there. Get it up to him. Here's Mintz, taking it himself. Woo! And one. Judah Mintz is a menace down low, can't Tough. stop him. Tough, you know what, making up for that, you know, the previous play, and that was him just not recognizing the defense coming in and helping, he should have kicked it out earlier by country. Judah Mintz with a nice lay-in through contact. And out to Copeland. Down low to Brown, oh, the two-handed jam. Malik Brown letting his presence be known in the paint. 
And, and they have, we talked about, they have the versatility, they have the depth to be able to get up and play that style of defense. I think the biggest thing for them early on was rotations were slow, communication wasn't there. Vince off the tip. Here's Copeland through contact off the glass and in. Man, they have multiple guys that can finish. Being able to go up and, and take the contact and then be able to finish through the contact, it's a tough finish by Copeland. Buffalo, the nice finish. Hold that. Surprisingly, Syracuse and Niagara both have 35 rebounds. Not an area the Orange have excelled at this season. There's Bayless with the runner. He hits that. You know, keep it as simple as you can, man. I know he can finish that, but you know, sometimes you just go and lay that thing up. Starling from deep in the corner. Yes. That, you know what? That looked great. We know he, you know, he was a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school, and he was labeled a shooter. You know, we know he can shoot the ball. It's just about being confident, and we know that guy. Judah Mintz's second turnover of the day. Well, we jinxed him, Jack. Yeah. We, just, we, we jinxed him again. That's the announcer's jinx. Down low. Niagara turns it over. Here comes Mintz down the lane. One-handed finish. Off the glass and a sigh of relief right there. Sigh of relief. You know, both teams turning the ball over back and forth. Bayless through contact. Nice finish off the glass. On the defensive end, the effort and energy hasn't been there like it needs to be. Vince, the lob. <laughs> that one's the dagger for the Cuse. And from that point on, you just knew this guy was going to be a head coach at some program. And, you know, he, he's going to continue to get these guys better. Uh, he, he, he's an elite head coach. Syracuse dribbles this one out and moves to 9-3. and three. The Orange have won four in a row after a win over their New York State foe, Niagara.